so it's time for us to get back to action. And so our next quest will be coming from Orianger, so let's go ahead and speak with him to take on our next quest, entitled Going Ham. Orianger wishes to depart at once. I agree. If one and all are ready, then let us set forth our preparations to complete. If I may, I beg a moment to exchange this vessel for its grown counterpart. It is in the keeping of the alchemists of the High Crucible. Of course, we shall accompany thine thither and thence begin our journey. Alright then, let's go and do this. Let's make our way over there. Alright, so for whatever reason they didn't put the, um, press continuation near the Aetherite for some reason. I had to run a long way to get back here to where you actually have to go within the High Crucible. So let's speak with Orianger. So as we're talking with Zero and Orianger here. Yeah, here's the Dolphar Sean. My apologies for the delay. Ah, that is a striking simulacrum indeed. Well suited to the work ahead, I doubt not. Yeah, this is your first time seeing this. Allow me to explain the Stoda's plan in greater detail. You got it. Let's hear what needs to be heard. Yeah, Zero doesn't acknowledge, just stands there. As you know, we seek to open a void gate in Mare Lamentor, that we might gain direct passage to the moon of the 13th. Whilst our comrades labor upon the moon, we must need to accomplish two tasks. The first is the procurement of a substantial quantity of ether, and subsequent delivery of it onto the Tower of Babel. Its structure was once used to cipher the land's essence by way of the Telophoroi's spires. Such a method, however, doth pose an unacceptable risk to the greater ethereal balance of our world. Thus we must seek an alternate means of conveying our requisite resource. Yeah, maybe this is where we can finally disrupt what else is on the tower itself. Our second task doth pertain to the use of the Tower of Babel itself. You may recall that this portal onto the moon was placed under the supervision of the Ilspar contingents. If we would employ it to different ends, we must first obtain the contingent's express permission. I should like to believe that they would not refuse us, so perhaps we should concern ourselves with the ether problem first. Have you any idea of whence we might find the source of our, the source of us quantity needed? Aye, a likely location doth come to mind. Let us make for the airship landing, there I shall reveal more. Okay. Yeah, I actually don't even know where the airship landing is in Raza, huh? Because I've never even had to use it before. Where exactly is it? Oh, it's all the way down here by this, um... Okay. But it does mean a long run to the nearest Aetherite, unfortunately, so we're gonna have to make a run to it. Alright, so yeah, this is where the airship landing is, apparently. Yeah, it's quite a far cry from where the initial path to, path to the entrance of Razakhan is. So yeah, no wonder I've never seen it before. Orianje? All are present on the count of four. Excellent. We shall travel to Charlian and then seek the nearby Isle of Half. Charlian? Near unto the surface of this isle do rivers of ether converge. The churning energy of this confluence is released by way of guide. Originally, the Ragnarok was to be powered by ether harvested from the Isle, and yet... But as you well know, an alternate power source was ultimately found for the vessel. Yeah, Primals! Passage onto Ultima Thule, to the very limits of existence, was facilitated by naught less than the strength of the Mother Crystal herself. As such, the Isle of Ham's vast ether deposits remain untouched. We may help ourselves to that energy, provided we are able to secure the form's permission. Yeah, it always comes down to their bureaucracy, doesn't it? Yes, again, with needing permission. There's nothing straightforward in this world. 
sadly no. Such is the nature of politics I fear, and as the signs of the seventh dawn have been officially disbanded, no longer are we a recognized collective, a somewhat disadvantaged position, bureaucratically speaking. Fortunately, however, there is a recognized and respected body upon which we might prevail, the students of Baldessian. Upon arriving in Charlotte, let us seek our friends at the Annex, which means we get to be reunited with Kryl. Alright, it looks like we're just going to be taken straight there. And here we are, uh, having arrived at the Baldessian Annex. Apparently, the place is haunted now, for some reason. Yeah, where are you, Onika? Or, yeah, Ojika, there you are. Welcome back, Rika. What brings you here today, and in such colorful company? Greetings, Ojika. On this occasion, we are come to seek the student's assistance in a matter of some urgency. Oh, in that case, you'll want to speak with Kryl. She's in the main hall sorting through our archives. Yeah, taking a break from dealing with the myths of the realm. There's a visitor with her at the moment, but it's no one you don't know, so feel free to show yourself in. See the main hall? Yes. So who's Carl talking to? Oh. Yeah, this guy. Arendale. So we meet again. Now, if it isn't two of my dearest friends. As for the other two, I don't believe we've had the pleasure. Yeah, time for formal introductions. Not in this vessel, perhaps. Tis I, Vashan. Though, you are welcome to call me Vritra, if you prefer. Oh, that's new. Pay me no mind. I merely accompany them. <laughs> Merely. I pray you forgive us our intrusion. If you are occupied, we shall call again anon. Well. It's quite all right. We've just finished swapping all our secrets anyway. Secrets? Erinfil occasionally comes and shares the latest Gleaner gossip, you see. And why is this important? From forgotten ruins to mysterious relics, if there's aught that might be of interest to the students, he kindly lets us know. And he goes out on the field a lot. Alas, I must soon depart on an expedition. As I may be away for an extended period, I wish to give Kryl fair warning. Hence my visit today. I see. There are specimens that want for procuring, I presume? And I also realized I called him Aaron Dale. Yep. No, no, it isn't guilt shit business, but rather... What's uh, wrong? Homecoming. Homecoming? Oh, for Vieira? But enough about me. You have business too, yes? And I'm in the way. <laughs> Don't feel about Far that. Far from it. As a matter of fact, we should be grateful if you could stay and share your knowledge of the nearby isles with us. We seek a means to travel to the void. There, a man named Golbez plots to invade our world. A man who even now holds my sister hostage. Yeah, that got your attention. Yeah, let's explain to you everything that's happened at this point. So, sometime later. To that end, we require a great quantity of ether, which we understand may be had on the Isle of Harm. We came in the hope of exploring how it might best be procured. An invasion from the 13th? Must the stakes always be so dramatic? You do realize this is a JRPG, right? You have a knack for finding trouble. Oh, blame Varshan. He wanted to make the travel to the journey in the first place. If cleaners collected world-ending crises, you could make quite a name for yourself in our profession. 
<laughs> it's true the Isle of Ham is a veritable font of ether, but as it's under the forum's direct jurisdiction, only a privileged few get to set foot there. I myself haven't. Yeah, basically it's like the restricted archives in the library. So if we want to help ourselves to the Isle's ether, we'll need to secure the forum's permission. That means we know who we gotta talk to. Yeah, even Heronville is aware of this. And so? Very well. The students of Baldessian recognize your endeavors as combating a grave threat to the world. As representative, I hereby pledge our full assistance. Thank you, Kryle. Now that it's official, you may leave the politics and paperwork to me. Our operations remain small, but we shouldn't meet any undue resistance. Hopefully. We are truly grateful. And so... If I may... Yeah, please, Marie-Ange. According to the original plan for the Exodus, Ether collected from the Isle of Harm was to power the Ark. Art thou perchance familiar with the logistics of this endeavor? No, probably not. Uh, I don't know anything about that, I'm afraid. Nor do I think any cleaner would. You might have better luck asking someone involved with the Ark's construction. Yeah. As I said, we know who we got to talk to. Margaret, for instance. She's a researcher in Charlie and Hamlet. I met with her for a job recently, and she mentioned working on the Ragnarok's propulsion system. Oh, I was expecting it to be fortunate. You could do worse than to seek her out while awaiting the forum's verdict. We may well do just that. Our gratitude for thine advice. And may this threat be but a memory upon thy return. You're quite welcome. Now then, if you'll excuse me. Yeah. Until we meet again, Aaronville. If we ever do. Yeah, he might show up in side content. I best in the next start discussion. drafting our petition. Go on and find your researcher. I'll contact you as soon as we've made progress. Let us leave matters here to Mistress Kryle, and hie ourselves to Labyrinthos. Hie ourselves, huh? Alright, let's do it then. Off we go. Yeah, we're just gonna leave little Kryle all alone in this big, great big room. Right then, time to put our best foot forward. Yep. Yeah, gotta save the myths of the realm for another time. There's Ugh. more pressing matters at hand. A pity you can't tidy yourself. I should have had Ishtola enchant you when I had the chance. Oh, a broom? <laughs> yeah, better get to it, Kryle. And what have we here? Oh, wait, what? Could it be a clue that later, we need later Kryle, down the line? Later, Kryle, later. You've work to do. It could be the most important thing that we have to look at in the patch. Don't overlook it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure curiosity is going to get the best of you eventually. Yeah, I'm pretty much expecting that to happen. Alright, so it's time for us to go to Charlie and Hamlet then. So, let's scroll on over and warp to the Hamlet itself. And so we've once again broken out the Mikoshi here. Let's go ahead and speak with Miss Margrat, who's chilling out over here by this tree. Very fancily pruned tree slash shrub. Quite fancy topiary. Hello there. Visitors? How delightful. If you require assistance, then ask away. It so happens you've caught me in post-deadline bliss. <laughs> Forgive us the abruptness of our inquiry, but tis our understanding that thou had the charge of the Ragnarok's propulsion systems. We should like to know how Ether harvested at the Isle of Ham was to be stored and transported to the Ark. 
if the disclosure if such information is permitted. Oh, it's no bother at all. We built special tanks that can store ether just like we use casks to store wine. Simple, really. Simple, but quite brilliant in construction. They rival even crystals for ethereal capacity. A pity we never got to use them. A how muddled in distant memory. When Doom's deadline loomed large and we extricated ourselves from a waste time mire of work only to end up chin deep in another. I was at one with the world, a conduit for the energies of creation. But now, now I'm truly alive. Who would have thought that sleeping in the bed and eating warm meals could make such a difference? Yeah. Why, I feel positively functional. Yes, clearly you are. You're doing... Apparently you've spent time on the Azim step because you're doing the old dance. I dare say it, dare rival... I dare say it rivals the thrill of dancing on the knife edge of failure. <laughs> we need to calm you down. Stop you from drinking so much coffee. Are we sure this is the right person to speak to? Yeah, even Zero is confused by this. We are glad for you. Quite. Uh, on the subject of the ether tanks, do you know what became of them? Yeah, stop dancing. Yeah, the music stops abruptly, but now... Uh, what did become of them? For the life of me, I can't seem to remember. Yeah, from being happy and dancing to now having her hands in her face. Oh, but I do remember someone who might remember. He should be back by now. Just look for the fellow wearing an outfit that screams, I've been on vacation and you haven't! That's not much of a description. Very well, we shall seek, seek out this conspicuous colleague of thine. Our sincerest gratitude, Margaret, and do look after thyself. Yeah, you're cut off the coffee! Come, let us seek out this individual tied in a manner suggestive of recent furlough. That could be anything, or any one. Yeah, Varshan can't wait to get started. And I'll just escort Zero. So yeah, let's go and pursue. Try and find where this person could be. Yeah, we brought out the Mikoshi. We brought out the Namazu war drums again. So yeah, Orianji is chilling out over here. So where is our point of contact? Yeah, maybe not so easy to find, but of course we know how these quest objectives usually go. Wherever we need to find is likely on the very edge of the quest objective area. In fact, yeah, everyone's locked over here. And one should know it. It's someone we know very well. Hey, Kakol. He has to talk with one of your colleagues. The face that launched our teeny tiny toy boat! How have you been, Rika? Able to catch a bit of rest? Well, to some extent, yes. It has been a lot longer than usual since our last patch. Well, if I don't know about the ether tanks, who in Birago's name would? All right, me very end workshop they were. Yeah, and as we're getting this information, a pleasure as always, Master Kukul. I trust thy respite proved rejuvenating. And then some, but I won't bore you with the details, at least not without a drink of me. So, why are they interested in our little old tanks? Permit me to explain. Yeah, we need to go into detail on why we need them so badly. So later that night. Oh, I see, I see. I think I've got the long and short of it. It goes without saying, but we all owe you more than we can ever repay. If you need our ether tanks, then they're at your disposal. This is one problem. You need the form's approval to set foot on the Isle of Ham. Well, up to me, you'd be on the next ship up, but that lot can't wipe their asses unless it's in accordance with procedural motions. You may be assured that my backside is immaculate. Yeah, there's Fortunato. Yeah, I guess we had to get Cryo to drag him out of bed or something. Fa 
Polyax, Thumping Thighs, uh, uh, Master Fortuner, and Scorlock Multishane. What, what a world of surprise! Pardon the intrusion. The forum has deliberated your petition and we decided to deliver our verdict directly. Just like at the end of Shadowbringers, huh? I would hope that the matter of pandemonium has not been overshadowed by other concerns, but that is a discussion for another time. You have been granted special dispensation to travel to the Isle of Ham for the purposes of etheric extraction. On one condition. On account of its first deposits of ether, the Isle is home to throngs of vicious beasts. Oh, great. We ask that you call any such creatures you encounter. And that's where we know what we're doing, then. That's all. Given the vast amount of ether we seek, I expected a far higher price. <laughs> oh, believe me, we do not underestimate the value of what you desire. Nay, we simply owe the students aboard Destina and their esteemed collaborators a debt of gratitude. And we felt that expediting your request was a suitable way to repay us. A debt of gratitude. Yeah, not like ether, though. We have taken the liberty of arranging your passage to the Isle of Ham. Your vessel awaits in Scholar's Harbor. Alright then, thank you. Glad we don't have to go through any crap with them today. Then all better get those ether tanks loaded on the airship. We'll be ready to take them where you need. Assuming it's safe. I shall head back to the Annex, but should you need anything else, don't hesitate to call. Well, it's good to see you again, gentlemen. Let's follow the two guys in the white robes and the black ties. And so we've been expedited directly to Scholar's Harbor. Let's speak with this cheery captain here. So now that we've all arrived... Bound for the Isle of Harm. You look like the ones Master Fortuno told me to expect. That we are. Nice to meet you. If you're ready to depart, then so am I. Just say the word. What are you looking for? Is something for? the matter? I did recruit one other to our party, but he is late to arrive. Must be a Stinian. Yeah, we haven't seen him in a while. No, it's not Estenian. It's Thancred! Forgive me my delay. Yeah, I guess we need a tank, don't we? Thancred? Tis good to see you. you figured it out yet? If it isn't Varshan, they do grow up so quickly. Orianje tells me we have a host of exciting new tribulations to face. Yes, we do. And you so. must be Zero. I've heard all about your daring do in Garlemald. A pleasure. Yeah, I'll just simply tip my hat to you. Apart from strengthening our company with his redoubtable skill at arms, Thancred may also serve as a mentor in those matters that trouble thee. Yeah. He has a he has an act for that sort of thing. You may not I admit speak it. Speak of the intangible forces which bring souls together. Thancred is possessed of experience both unique and insightful that I am sure he would gladly share with thee. Thou needst but ask. Are you okay with that, Zero? Yeah, I'm expecting to see something here, but yeah, it looks like we've got a whole bunch of birds flying in the sky. But are they actually good birds, or is it a sign of void sun coming? In any events, we now have the main story dungeon of patch 6.4 available. The Aether Box. So, that means it's time to dress for battle. And I am got, and I do have uh, max gear available. This includes the um, 
current tier two amazing mandible spear. So that's something that I now have in my possession. So now that we have all of that, we can definitely make use of it. I'm also surprised that, yeah, there we go. Now my dress for attire is proper. So now that we are, oh, hey, big yellow Gaia. Yeah, I saw that just before I went on the studying of the recording, but couldn't actually find the person. I like, guess they had already started on their journey. So let's take a look at the dungeon here, the Aether Fonts. North of, Char of the Shawnee mainland lies the verdant Isle of Ham, a land long protected by the form as an academic asset due to its abundant wealth of ether. Yet with plenty often comes peril, and the vicious beast that live there will not so readily relinquish their claim to the island's lifeblood. Will you secure the energy you need to breach the void, or be return to the very flows of ether you seek? And be here, no less than item level 605 will suffice. So, without further ado, and in the next episode, let's be on our way.